it is fall season, so it's time to put all my seedlings out. I'm laying them out here because the sun is pretty bright right now. These are my seedlings that I've been growing inside and I'm trying to get them adjusted to the sun. And then these are all new starts that I got from Whole Foods. They are Blue Label Farms. I've never used their starts before, so it's gonna be a first. And I've got a variety of Brussels sprouts, we've got some cabbage, some char, a lot of broccoli. These are some mustard greens, a little bit of lettuce and cauliflower. We've got some kale, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, purple cabbage, green cabbage. We have nasturtiums, dill, celery, calendula, flowering kale. Believe it or not, I have about 150 seedlings to plant today and you're gonna do this with me. The sun's gonna be in my face, but I'm gonna get rid of a lot of things that I haven't been doing. I've procrastinated a lot and actually I've been a little MIA again. Sorry, but bear with me. I got some new responsibilities at work, so I've been super busy. I haven't maintained my garden like I wish I could and videos have been delayed. It's gonna be like that for about a month or two, so bear with me, I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much as I can. One thing I will say is catch me on Instagram. I'm there on my stories a lot, so whatever I can't put on here, go check it out over there. Over here, my sweet potatoes, I just finished harvesting all of them. It is about 30 or so sweet potatoes. I'm gonna have a video on that, uh, probably a short or something similar, because I did it at night, but you see most of my <laughs> vines are, are wrapping up. I'm gonna line this up with some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli. I'm gonna do the same over here in the back. I'm just gonna get rid of all of that back there and add quite a few brassicas. This year I've had so many grasshoppers. It's pretty neat. My carrots are all growing. I want this area full of carrots. And my carrots stop right here. I'm probably gonna add my nasturtiums here. I'm going to get rid of the okra and my dahlia. And I'm gonna add in the large kale in the back and in the front some more of my brassicas, probably cabbage because it looks really nice once it's fully grown. Look at my beautiful beans. They're trailing up and I can't wait to see it filled. Like it's coming up all the way to the top there. It's been raining a lot, so it's done really good here. I had my tomatoes here before and I have a lot of new seedlings coming up and I'll get rid of those and I'm gonna refill this area as well. And some of these beans here are starting to grow. On the edges, I added some peas, so those should trail up on the trellis. These are more beans that I have and another one that's trailing all the way up here. I'm gonna clean this up. I have this marigold that's too big and it's overcrowding this area. And I have a basil, which shouldn't go here anyways, but I wanted to fill it just in case. All along the edges here, I'm gonna plant some more stuff. And I've got room over here as well and I still have my papaya. It's getting up there, but I know it's not gonna survive. It's just here really for education because we do get frost here. <laughs> Look how big it is. Like, it's that big already. I cannot touch my fingers. I really love this color in between. And I'm not sure, but these look like the blooms. So I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna do. And this is what I love about letting the plants do their own thing, just for me to learn. I know normally it should bloom in the spring to get fruit for the summer. But down here, I have a lot of space. All this is going to get full as well. And I am gonna cut some of these leaves off because they are casting a lot of shade in this area. And this is what I'm going to use to improve my soil. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. So I'm so glad I'm able to show you. It's still pretty hot here. So what I'm gonna do is go through each and every one of them and place them where I think they're gonna go and then I'll clean it up and plant them. If I stand back, you'll notice if I'm gonna walk in, my focal point is this bed. So I'm gonna put the most beautiful starts here, which is like cabbage, the flowering kale crane, some nasturtiums, 
just because I want this to be beautiful like that. Over here, I'm gonna do half for my garlic because that's going in pretty soon. And the other half is going to be for some more brassicas. So I started pulling these and I missed some sweet potatoes. Get to add those to my stash. And just like that, it is almost bare, but I left some things just so we can have some color and I wanted to show you. I'm picking up this leaf mold because I want to add it back into the soil. So just cleaning it up and dumping it back. Now it's time to add all of this cow manure. Every time I say manure, it reminds me of Pet Detective. And it's so funny to me. Look what else I found. A potato and another sweet potato. There it goes. Now it's the best part. Lay the new stuff. I'm making some progress. I unfortunately had to cut a lot of Cosmos, which I really love. I'm definitely going to repeat them but it's time for the new stuff. So even though it was beautiful here, it has to go. Over here, I already removed everything on the back and I also cleaned up the area over here. Took a lot of the vincas. They reseed and they're beautiful, but I need some sun in this area for the new stuff. Forgot to mention, look what I found hanging in the back. Isn't she pretty? So I'm losing daylight. I'm gonna wrap up the video by showing you what I have so far. And you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next tour because that's when I'll show you everything and how it's doing so far. So I decided to do red Brussels sprouts on the edges and in the center a broccoli and two Swiss chars on the side. In the back we have three cauliflowers and then on the far end we have calendula and another calendula over here. On this bed, we have some flowering kale and then some purple broccoli. In the back, we have two Brussels sprouts and these have multiples. I'm just gonna wait and see which one does the best and then cut the rest off. And the same with, I have one broccoli there and another broccoli there. And in the back, we have some cabbage. Over on this side, we have some kale in the back, and this is the Toscana, and it grows tall. And then again, we have some Brussels sprouts in the edges, and then a cauliflower in the center. The only thing I added here is nasturtiums, and I did the same thing with the kale. The kale, the tall kale is in the back, and I have quite a few. And then I have the purple cabbage, in the front and then one nasturtium in the center and purple brussels sprouts in the middle there and there i removed the toothache plant because the kids hate the flavor and i know that it's just going to overcome this area so i removed it and replaced it with some green brussels sprouts here on the edges, I added nasturtiums. So the idea is that there's color coming out of the corners, basically the entry. And then we're going to add the rest that I probably won't be able to show you because it's getting really dark. Um, there's some mustard greens there in the corner that my daughter just put. And I'm gonna add some flowering kale. I'm debating here if I'm going to remove the uh, petunias there they're not looking so good and i did my cleaning so now these should get a good amount of sun and so do the cucumbers in the back right now this area is getting some shade so i'm going to add the mustard greens the lettuce the dill anything that can do better with shade because i don't want to get rid of this baby yet i was hoping to show you everything but at least i got to show you this which i'm excited for you to see 
here in the next few weeks you will see this change drastically and i can't wait thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one